The governor of Cardinal State has stated that it is difficult to execute the anti-open grazing laws, which his counterparts in the southern part of Nigeria have passed to curb insecurity in the region. He then cautioned them not to deploy much energy on the laws, adding that it will take time for it to materialize. Speaking during a visit to the headquarters of the All Progressive Congress, APC, on Tuesday, Erofi reviewed that the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, has backed a state with 7.5 billion naira out of the 10 billion naira required to build a ranch. He also disclosed that since there are over 14 grazing reserves in Cardona State, he would be glad if the Nigerian government can support his state with 140 billion to develop the grazing reserves. According to Erufai, it is needless for the southern state governors to politicize grazing rights and pass laws they know cannot be implemented. Speaking on the anti-open grazing laws, he noted the Northern State Governors Forum has already taken a position that open grazing is not a sustainable way of livestock production and we must move towards ranching. But moving towards ranching cannot be done overnight. We have to have a plan, we have to have resources, and we have to implement it. Sensibly, it is not a matter of populist legislation or saying tomorrow this or that. It is not a solution. We have taken position as Southern State Governors and we are implementing that. And in my state, for instance, we are developing a huge ranch to centralize the headers and that is the solution. A long time, but can it be done overnight? No. This pro project we are doing will cost us about 10 billion naira. The CBN is supporting us with about 7.5 billion and it will take about two years to do. We will be settling about 1,500 Fulani headers families. And I hope that they will see that there are alternative ways of producing livestock instead of running up and down with cattle going to people's farm to cause all kinds of problems. We want to solve the problem. What is unhelpful to, is to politicize the situation and pass legislation that you know that you cannot implement. So we have taken a position and we are working around the clock to implement that position. And these headers emanate from the north and we are going to centralize them. We cannot do it overnight. We need billions of naira. This is just one ranch that is causing 10 billion. I have 14 grazing reserves in Cardona State and I would like to convert them into ranching. Do I have 14 times 10 billion naira? I don't have. If the federal government will give me 140 billion, I will convert the other 13 into ranches and make sure that nobody comes out with a cow or sheep in Cardona State because I will have enough ranches to take care of everybody. That is the solution. You can legislate, but let us wait and see and wish, wish them the best of luck, he said. What's your take on this? Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted. Someone said, maybe everything is political. After all, playing games with citizens' lives, no one should trust our politicians. Both sides are the same. And that is just the truth. He passed the B. It won't work until the citizens change all the oil or all the old politicians. They have to provide security for themselves. Thank God, though, it is the northern leaders that are now challenging our leaders and even rubbishing them. They have set the stage. Let's see if the southern leaders 
we bow and disgrace us due to greed or fight as gallant, gallant leaders. Thank God is just a phrase, but we shall overcome. All right, these are Nigerians' reactions, and they are still talking. If the statement actually originated from Erofi, the entire South should know that the battle line has been drawn. Okay, someone said there, yeah, what an unfortunate being you are. Let's go our separate way. Northern Nigeria, stop begging for unity. I don't understand. Since the inception of this government, all we talk about is cow, cow and cow. Who owns this cow? Is cow a business private or government? Is there anything like government, you know, subsidizing the price of cow to Nigerians? Who are the owners of the cows in Nigerians, in Nigeria? Exactly my point. Exactly my point. I don't know when cow railing has become a federal issue in this country since the inception of this country. Open grazing, Fulani elders killing people, cow this, cow that. For goodness sake, why would this be a big problem to us? This is a private business. Everybody have the business they are doing. They are not using it to disturb the northerners. So why are they using their business to disturb others? You will carry your cow to people's farm? People's uh, business. Livelihood, according to me, that the southerners want to, you know, end their livelihood. You will take it to that place and destroy their crops. You say they should not talk. Once they challenge you, you take off their head from their body. Those crops they planted is their means of survival. So why are they taking it like the cow is more important than any other business whatsoever? Anyway, guys, <laughs> I'm going to drop it here. Kindly hit the comment sections. Let's hear from you. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now. Thank you.